Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Please be very, very welcome. Very good. Glad. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome, Adonai. Welcome, Carla, Veronica, Elizabeth, Adrián. Hello, um, Miss Gertrudis. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Good night. Hello, Adrián. Uh, let's see. Hello, Aura, Jonathan, Francisco, Omar, Julie, Claudia, Lorena, Harold. Um, Aura, chicas, Francisco Castro, Claudia, tengo creo que dos Claudias. Ok, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Ok, um, it's my pleasure to have you here tonight. And uh, today is going to be a very special meeting because it's our first time uh, we are starting this module. And I know that uh, you already have a presentation um, last night, right? Uh, uh, with the people from Inglés Corporativo. So I won't uh, speak too much on this, but I would like just to remind or some, or to say some remarks about this, uh, this process, okay? I want to say welcome to everybody. Quiero decirles bienvenidos a todos, but because of the times I will, I will go little by little, right? When I, I will be interacting with you, okay? So, uh, could you please confirm if uh, you can watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, okay. I can. Yes, yes teacher, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, first, I want to say that, um, as you know, it's important to have a very uh, neat uh, sound environment of the class in order that you can listen. So, that's why I appreciate that you can have your mics in mute and whenever you want to interact, you open your mics, you can do it by yourself. Uh, sometimes when I, I listen to much interruption, I will close the mics and uh, you will be able also to open the mics whenever you need. Uh, about the class methodology, uh, let me tell you that uh, I normally have a warm up, right, which is for opening the class. And then I do a connection with the platform topic that we are going to study. Then I have a topic presentation. I have designed, um, designed, designed, excuse me, designed um, a specific material just for you, right? Uh, so you can practice it in the class because the idea is that this can be your speaking space, right? So basically what we have is participants, uh, group work or pairs, right, in, in the breakout rooms. So I, I just go around uh, watching you to interact with each other in the breakout rooms. And I do basically corrections of pronunciation, structure, and all that you need in order to improve your English. Um, this is a very student-centered class. So uh, me as teacher is uh, like a facilitator role for your learning process. Um, what about the key materials and activities? Okay, as you already know, the platform completion is very important. So it means that preferable, you go first to the platform, you study the topic, and then you come to the class, and then you can ask all the questions you may have, and we can uh, clarify all the, the doubts you may have, and we can provide you feedback regarding to every exercise you have there, right? Remember that when we finish the section number three, we are going to have the midterm exam. And then uh, by the end of section five, we are going to have the final exam. And those, uh, the, 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 every exercise uh, after each lesson, plus the midterm exam, plus the final exam, uh, you need to have a score of 80% in order to approve your module. And it's important that you can uh, work in everyday basis in order that you don't get accumulated work. Mm -hmm. And because trying to complete all at the end is like very stress. Uh, and so I will in invite you to work continuously and go day by day, right? Uh, what about the additional material? As I said before, I have designed additional material that will be provided during the class. You can take pictures whenever you want, um, and um, it will be available uh, just if you need it, uh, maybe through WhatsApp group, um, only the ones that you need uh, for practice purposes, right? But remember that this is additionally uh, only for practicing purposes, but 
the platform is the key to succeed in this um, course. So for tonight, I just would like to introduce myself again. You already know me uh, because of my presentation during the plat during the WhatsApp uh, in the WhatsApp group um, previously. But I want to say that again that my name is Patricia de Moran. I am an English for Work program facilitator since two years ago. I live in San Salvador. I have studied a bachelor's degree in English language and a master's degree in local development, as well as an organizational diploma course. So I'm very glad to be your facilitator in this model. And little by little, I would like to know what is your name, where do you work, where do you live, and why do you want to learn English? So tonight is going to be like a very um, know each other section. And then we are going to introduce the topic and then we are going to continue with the exercises. So uh, in order to advance, uh, I would like that you can take these questions for the practice purposes, okay? Um, so let me advance a little bit more and I'm going to stop sharing. And I would like to connect with the platform now. Okay. Um, regarding to the platform, I would like to confirm, can you watch my screen now? Yes, I can. yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much for confirming. Um, so today, by the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you will learn um, about your, uh, how to say your birthday and how to say other people's birthday, right? Uh, so this is what we have in this objective number one. And then you can go right to the platform. You can play and watch this video where you can learn how to pronounce the months and how to say the dates. So what's go, uh, what about the class is going to be tonight? And then you can practice in, this, in the forums. You can share with us when is your birthday. Um, and later uh, you will learn how to ask and answer yes, no questions using the going to. Maybe this is going to be tomorrow, right? If we cannot advance today in this. And then we are going to uh, practice a conversation about your birthday plans, right? And how do we plan a birthday party in real life settings? And uh, introduce to the future with be going to, right? So we are going to continue uh, studying these things and talking about birthday plans. And to do this, you have a video in 1.3 section in order that you can listen and watch, of course. And finally, we go to the knowledge check. Remember that it's important that you can um, work with a knowledge check uh, after every class. In this case, you need to open this audio by opening this pop-up window and then you can download this material for you to continue listening and train your ear on the right pronunciation of some words that appear here and also to answer these exercises. Remember that if you have any difficulty, any question about the exercises, you can send your question to the WhatsApp group and I can help you. Uh, remember that this is a very collaborative uh, learning course so uh, if another person already answered these questions, um, you can share, you can share with the group, right? Because remember that we are learning from each other. So I'm going to stop sharing and I will start uh, with a presentation that I have for you tonight, right? So, um, as I said before, we are going to learn about or to remember uh, the month of the year. So remember that we have 12 months in the year, which are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. What about some rules uh, in, excuse me, what about some rules for using the dates in English? Remember that uh, we normally say the days 
using the ordinal numbers, right? We always use ordinal numbers to say the day in spoken English. Uh, ordinal numbers are first, second, third, fourth. When we say fourth, you have to add like a theta, right? At the end. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and so on. And remember that months are uh, always start with a capital letter. So the correct way is August, not August with a small letter. So you have to use always a capital letter. This is a rule uh, very different from Spanish because in Spanish, the right way is this, but in English is this one, okay? So whenever you talk about a day, a date, you need to be clear that we have some differences between the American format or the United States format and the British format. For example, in the United States, uh, we always use month plus day. For example, March uh, the 5th, 2020, right? Or May, but in the British English, uh, you have to say the day first plus the month. So you say May the 3rd, 2020. So be careful because imagine in this date, for example, can be different. In the American English, is, you can say March 5 uh, or, the, or the 5th, right, 2020. But in the British is May the 3rd, 2020. So it's different, right? So something that is important to say is that when we speak in English, um, you have to always pronounce the TH even if the TA is not written, you have to say it. For example, here, March the 5th, 2020, right? You don't have to say March 5th, you have to say March the 5th, 2020. And what about the years? Uh, for the years, uh, you have to um, say them in two parts. For example, 1987. So it's like you say the two numbers first and the two numbers at the end. For example, in this case, we have 1653, 1942, 2017, okay? But uh, this has some exceptions. For the years from 2000 to 2010, we normally say 2000 and plus a number. For example, 2007, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 10, right? So that's the way we normally use to say the date in English. So what do we use ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are used for dates. For example, I say her birthday is on the 29th. For centuries, Shakespeare was born in the 16th century. Sequence or order, my team came second in the league. To say the floor of a building, his office is on the 10th floor, okay? And remember that when we use ordinal number, numbers, we express, um, we express this as figures, right? The last two letters of the written word and, um, are added to the ordinal number. For example, first, you can abbreviate like this. Second, you can write it like this. Third, fourth, 26, 101st, look. Depending on the last, uh, on the last word, that's the way you adopt in order to write it, in, like an abbreviation. What about the order? Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Repeat, please. Uh, yes, uh, which part uh, exactly? Uh, when expression as figures. Ah, yeah. Uh, when, you, when you need to write the, like the abbreviation, right? For example, first, you can abbreviate yes. like this, right? 
Okay. Hundred and first. Hundred and first. In this case, you take the last. You write hundred and first, and then you say st because it means that you're talking about ordinal numbers, not cardinal numbers, right? Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. What about uh, the list? I have here a very short list just to show you that, uh, for example, from 11 to 20th, you just add the TH, 11th, and please be careful to mention, to sound, uh, to pronounce correctly this TH at the end, because if you don't do it, it seems that you are saying a cardinal number, which is different, right? So 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. And here from, from the first to the third is different. Remember, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Here you start with this at the end. 25th. 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. And then you continue the same way, 31st, say 2nd, 33rd, and then when you go uh, hundreds, TH at the end, 101st, 102nd, 103rd, 104th, and then you go 112th, thousandth. Right? So that's the way you write the um, ordinal numbers, okay? Excuse me. Okay, again, just to remind you, uh, we have two different ways to write the date. For example, the format A in the British is day, month, year. For example, the 14th of March, 2016. This way of saying the date is very formal. Normally, when you read like a certificates of birth or when you read any legal document, normally you will find like this, the 14th of March, 2016. Or if you are uh, working with the American English or the um, United States English, you say March, it's different, right? In this case, um, you say March the 14th because they use the month first, right? And then the day and then the year. In this case, it's day, month, year. Okay, the other way is this. You say, right, but you don't write in letters. You say uh, the 14th of March, 2016. March the 14th, 2016. Or like this, but you have to say 14, the 14th of March, 2016, you have to mention, when you say the date, you have to mention the, the ordinal number, right? No matter that if written, it doesn't have the TH. March uh, the 14th, 2016, and you can write like this. The 14th of March, 2016, uh, March the 14th, 2016, right? So those are the acceptable ways to write the date, but remember that the most uh, formal is like this, like the first one. Okay, now, uh, since this is the first time, oh, excuse me, we are uh, working together, I would like to ask some questions to this, right? I would like to ask some questions like, for example, uh, what is your name? And I expect a greeting, right? Hello or hi, right? Let's say hi. What is your name? Right? And then the other person can answer. My name is, right? And then, when is your birthday? My birthday is, for example, if you say, hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Patricia. 
Uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April uh, the 17th. Uh, and yours? And I expect that you can tell me when is your birthday, right? And you can say, my birthday is on May the 2nd, right? And later you can continue adding some questions like, when is your husband or wife birthday? When is your son or daughter birthday, right? So um, I would like to ask you to please take a picture of this. I will, I will do it and I will send you in order that we can work in the breakout rooms. And there we'll, we'll have the chance to know each other a little bit, right? So, um, as I said before, what I expect um, from you is that you can actively participate speaking, because remember that this is your space for speaking. And I will speak less because I'm just uh, guiding you, right? So, if you can take a picture better than mine, it's going to be okay that you can send it. I expect that all of you um, are enrolled or are part of the WhatsApp group. If someone is not part of the WhatsApp group yet, I will ask you to please go to the email you received and that you can check and double click to the link in order to join, okay? Pregunta en español para estar bien segura. ¿Tienen todos acceso al grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, no, teacher. Eh, yes. Alguien, yes. 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 ¿Alguien dijo yes. no? Todo, ¿verdad? Ok. Everybody. No. no. Yes. Teacher. Uh, Adrián. Hola, Adrián. Hello. Eh, WhatsApp en el grupo, en el WhatsApp del teléfono. Sí. Ok. Eh, but you have to... No, no lo tengo. Ok. Um, you have to go to the email that you receive for the enrollment. Eh, tiene que ir al correo que recibió de inglés corporativo donde le confirmaron su matrícula. Sí. Okay. Over there is all that information, including the link to join the WhatsApp group. Eh, ahí está toda la información, incluyendo el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Ya. Yeah? Would you like to okay. join, please? Okay, okay, so uh, I already sent you this, okay, ya les envié la imagen. So what I will do is to divide the group in trios or, or a group of four, right? So what I expect from you is that you can, in, you can interact each other in the group by saying, what's your name, right? Uh, when is your birthday, right? Uh, asking the other people when is his or her birthday, and you can share also when is your husband or wife birthday or when is your son or daughter birthday, right? So this practice has to do with, uh, with using correctly uh, the way to say the dates, okay? So if you can take a picture of this, it's okay. Si le pueden tomar una imagen a eso también, I'll send it to you now. So just let me take a picture. If someone else can send it, it's okay. Si alguien más la manda, estamos bien. Okay, do you have questions about what we are going to do? No? No. No. Everything okay. is clear. Okay, excellent. So let me invite you to the breakout rooms and I will ask you to please join, right? Whenever you receive the invitation, please join. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and then let me create the breakout rooms. Okay, please join. Whenever we see the invitation, please join.
Hello, Andy. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Aura. Do you have any problem by joining the groups? Hola, hola. ¿Tenemos alguna dificultad, Aura? Can you hear me? Okay. I will go around with the groups, Aura. And if you have any difficulty, I can move you, okay? Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. Yes. Are you able to communicate each other? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay. I leave you and I will uh, let you work. Okay. We are going to have like uh, three, four minutes for this activity. Okay. See you later. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Hi. Laura. Can you communicate each other? ¿Se pueden comunicar entre ustedes? I can hear. Uh, you can hear Aura, right? Uh, no. Okay, Roberto. Uh, would you like that I change you to, the, to another group in order that you can interact with the people? I understand. Okay, okay, thank you. I will move you and I will move Aura in order that you can join to other groups, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you very much. See you in a minute. Thanks. My my daughter birthday is on September fifteenth. Hello, hello. Is everything okay? Hello. Are you practicing? Hello. Hello. Uh, we, oh yes. We're practicing. Excellent. Um, are you able to communicate each other? No problem with the audio. Okay. Uh, I like. No. Excellent. I like that. Okay. I. Uh, will I will go around to the other group. Uh, connection. Excuse me? Okay, if there are no questions, if, every, if everything is okay, I will go around with the other groups. Just in case you need me, you can call me, okay? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Roberto. Hello, hello. Um, October twenty. No. Um, what else? I live in in Marriott. And um, I don't remember the other question, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what, what is your question? Excuse me, can you repeat? I question? don't remember the other question to say to my... my um, ah, the classmate. questions were, when is your husband or wife birthday? Can you uh, we already, we already uh, said the questions and answers and already um we how to say um uh -huh. nos ayudamos a la pronunciación excellent help with the pronunciation each other congratulations i congratulate you okay i will okay. just go around with the group so you can continue practicing right and i will go around with the group so in a couple of minutes i will call you back okay okay thank you okay. thank you very much okay. Okay, so if you want to, to talk about your work or about 
Where do you live? Hello, hello, Claudia. Is everything okay here? Hello, teacher. Okay, is everything okay? Have you been able to speak? To talk each other? Yes. Excellent. I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Hello, Rafael. How are you? Hello, hello, Rafael. Can you hear me? Okay, we are coming back from a um, breakout room activity, right? So you, can, yeah. hello. So your classmates are going to uh, present before the class while we were working on. Okay. 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 Thank you. Just give us a couple of minutes. So they are going to. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining to the practice, right? Uh, I would like to know how it was. Were you able to ask each other the, the information, the key information about your birthday and your relative's birthday? Okay. Okay, excellent. Who would like to continue? Um, who would like to present before the class? Which team? I would like to start with uh, any team that wants to introduce the information that you practice in the breakout rooms. Let's see. Voluntarily. If we ask, Harold, would you like to present okay. our group? Okay. Or maybe, or, or maybe both? Okay. Ken? Excellent, Lorena. Go ahead. The mic is yours. Okay. Um, Harold, can we practice for the audience? <laughs> yes. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Harold. And what's your name? My name is Lorena. When is your birthday? Nice to meet you, Lorena. My nice birthday is on, on September the 13th. Oh, okay. And, and uh -huh. your birthday? My birthday is on February the 26th. Okay. Okay, did you add some when questions? Your, uh, husband birth My husband birthday is on September the 20 the 14th. And my son's birthday is on March the 26th. Okay. And that's all, everybody. <laughs> okay, thank you. You did a great job. I like that, okay? Thank you, Lorena and Hannah. Thank you for um, showing You're us welcome. what you did on the breakout room. Okay, who else? I would like to have another team. We have enough time for having at least four more teams, right? So who, who would like to continue? Let's see. Voluntarily, if not, I will start asking, okay? Let's see. Okay, maybe Elizabeth Garcia and team would like to share with us. Okay. My team is Carla and Daniela. Okay, excellent. The mic is yours. You can start. Okay. Hi, what is your name? Please, pass on me. Hi, my name is Carla. When is your birthday? My birthday is August second. And you? 
my birthday is on December the 20th. 22? The 22nd. 22nd, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. When is your husband's birthday, Carla? Uh, my um, our birthday is husband on December 22nd. And when is your son and our birthday? Um, my son's birthday is September 6th. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, Do you have extra you. questions or that's it? Where is your husband birthday, Elizabeth? I don't have a husband. Oh. Okay. Where is your own birthday? My son's birthday is June the 17th. Okay, excellent. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, who else? Quien más? Okay, we can have a third volunteer team before we can continue with the next, next activity. Remember that this is your chance to show with the class what, um, what you practice in the breakout room, okay? And this is the space for you to continue practicing your speaking, right? Okay, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Maybe Andy, Andy's team? Would you like to participate, Andy? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. The mic is yours. Uh, hi, what is your name? Hi, uh, my name is Claudia de Odanes. And you, what is your name? My name is Andy Quintanilla. Nice to, meet, nice to meet you, Andy. Nice to meet you too. When is your birthday? My birthday is um, December twenty December twenty second. In and you what is your is your birthday? My birthday is on March. 19th. The 19th. Okay. 19th. Excellent. And extra questions? Did you ask extra questions? Uh, yeah. When is your uh, boyfriend okay. birthday? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the, the, is that a uh, April April fourth fourth the the fourth April the fourth uh huh okay no more questions uh, when is your daughter uh, no when is your uh, what is the meaning sobrina ah um, niece niece Nephew, mm -hmm. nephew. Uh, when Niece is your Sabrina. nephew birthday? Uh, the birthday is um, August eighth, eighth, the eighth. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing, my dear participants. I congratulate you because you have been sharing with the rest of the class what you practice in the breakout rooms conversation. So in order to continue with the class, I would like to, I would like to show you this, okay? In this case, we are going to continue talking about um, uh, special celebrations in El Salvador, right? So I would like that you can write and say the date of these special celebrations. For example, the Independence Day in El Salvador, the Mother's Day, the Father's Day, the Valentine's Day, 
the Christmas day, right? Uh, the New Year celebration, the Teacher's Day, and the Peace Agreement Day, okay? So, again, if you can take a picture, it's going to be okay. I'm taking a picture, and I'll send you back uh, for a couple of minutes to the breakout rooms where you can continue practicing how to say these specific dates, okay, of celebration in El Salvador. Do you have questions on what we are going to do? Uh, since they are eight specific dates, you can share in order to divide the, the work and that you can finish, okay? So, do you have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No, everything is clear. Excellent. So, let's go and continue practicing, please. Agreement. Agreement. Is los acuerdos de paz. Yes, the peace agreement. Sí. Eh. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Okay, I'll I'll leave you in order that you can continue working. Okay. See you in a, in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Good night. When is your Mother's Day? Uh, the Mother's Day is... Hello? Hello? Yes. Is everything okay? The Mother's Day is on May 10th. May 10th. Good. Two. 20, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. The piece the of piece agreement date. Is uh, no, no, eh, no sé qué significa. The piece agreement day, eh, day eh, los acuerdos de paz. ¿Sí? Ok. January, um, January, January 16, 19. January Ese sí lo pueden yeah. poner con año, ¿verdad? Porque fue una fecha que se hizo. January the 16th, 1991. No ok, o 1991, excuse me. 1991. 1991. Yes, 1991. Sí. Yes, you're right. Ok. 1991. Sí, ok. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Seventh, no, seventeen. The Father's Day yeah. is on uh, July seventeen. Yep. Yeah. Teacher, una pregunta. Aprovechando que la vemos, eh, siempre va el on. Yes, because you're giving an ex a complete date. You you say the day and you say the month, right? If you just oh, okay. mention, when you just mention the month, you use in. For example, my birthday is in April, but I don't say the day. But when I say the day, exactly, I say my birthday is on April the 17th, right? So I oh, use okay. on because oh. I'm saying the day and the, and the month and the day. The month and the day, okay. Yes. okay. If I only say the month, it's in, okay? In. Okay. Right. Okay, perfect. See you Thank later. you. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks. Really? 
the New York celebration day in El Salvador, 31 31st. December. December 31st. Remember uh, December the old ordinal numbers. Yeah. And New Year's celebrating December 21st. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I hope that everybody uh, has participated in this second speaking activity. And I would like to listen some volunteers from the people that didn't participate in the first activity. It will be nice to hear you, my dears. Okay, so who would like to participate? Which team? Vamos a ver, chicos, de los equipos que no participaron en la primera actividad. This is your chance. Okay. I am volunteer. Okay, Adrian, please go ahead. The mic is yeah. yours. <laughs> All? Okay, you can start. Okay. The Independence Day in El Salvador is on September 15th. Uh, the Mother Day in El Salvador is May 10th. The okay. Father's Day in El Salvador is June 20, no, excuse me, um, 17th, the 17th uh -huh. um, yeah. Valentine's Day in El Salvador is on February 14th, uh -huh. uh, the Christmas Day in World War is on December 25. Is in, uh, the, excuse me, is, is in December, in December, the 25th. Is in December. 25th. 25th. Mm -hmm. Okay. The new, the New Year's, the New Year celebration mm -hmm. is, is on uh, January 1st. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this is about this on June 22, 22? 22nd, the 22nd. Mm -hmm. 22nd, the uh, 22nd payment day in El Salvador is January 6, 6. The 16th. <laughs> Excellent, thank 16. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that, uh, Adrian. So I would like to know if someone else, maybe a lady would like to participate this time. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I can do it, miss. Yes, please. I can do it. Go ahead, go ahead, thank you. The Independence Day in El Salvador is on September 15th. Mm -hmm. The Mother's Day is on May the 10th. Mm -hmm. The Father's Day is on June the 17th. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day is on February the 14th. And uh, Christmas Day is on December the, 20th, the 25th. Mm -hmm. New Year's celebration is on December 25th. Uh, sorry, is on December 30, 31, 31st. 31st. Mm -hmm. The teacher's day is on June 22nd, and the peace agreement's day is on January the, uh, the 16th. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, please remember that whenever you say, um, as, as it says here, uh, I just want to remark this. Uh, in the spoken English, English, I mean, uh, for example, if you say March 5th, 
or the 5th of March. Even if the TH is not written, it is said. Okay? En otras palabras, en español, eh, aunque usted no vea, eh, por ejemplo, la TH aquí o aquí, ¿verdad? O el RD, ¿verdad? Porque este es, eh, este es fifth, pero este es third. Um, you have to mention it. Lo tenemos que pronunciar, ¿verdad? Because remember that the rule is that uh, we always use ordinal numbers to say the date in the spoken English. So, what I said before is that the, the first three are different from the rest, right? Because you say first, second, third. From fourth to uh, tenth and whatever, you just need to make sure that you are pronouncing correctly this TH at the end. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Because, because if you don't pronounce the TH, like a, it sounds like ordinal number, right? So that's why sometimes we think that uh, the dates are correct when you say an, or a cardinal number, but no. The date is said with an ordinal number, right? Are this, right? Okay, okay so please. And also keep in mind that um, the date, you need to make sure that you're write, writing the correct date because the format can be different from the American format or the United States format, format and the British format, right? Uh, remember that in, in the US they use month plus date but in the British, they use day plus month, right? And the British is very similar to Spanish, right? In Spanish, we normally use day plus month, right? So you need to make sure that you're uh, saying the right way. And remember that when you want to abbreviate this, first is like this, one and ST, second is two and D, third is three or D, Fourth is 4th, and so on, right? Then the first three are different. First, second, and third. After fourth, they are similar with the TH at the end. Okay, um, I would like to know if you have questions so far. Me gustaría saber si tienen preguntas about this topic, about this content. How do you say when the date is on the past? For okay. example, my husband's birthday was on, or or I need to say is on, which no, is the was, difference. Was. For example, I can let me take as reference this one. Okay. Uh, let me let me write it here. Okay. So just let me expand a little bit just to explain. For example, the peace agreement date. The peace oops. No, 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 no problem. Okay. I will erase this. Just to write it, okay? The Peace agreement there. Sign up on January sixteen. Oops. Let me just on January the sixteenth. 2000, I mean, 1991. I have a problem 90, with the number. 92. Ni 92, right? I thought that it was 92. Yes, but someone told me, no, 91. <laughs> so let's think that it's 92, okay? Let, let's think it's 92. Uh, okay, the peace agreement, where? Why where? Because I'm talking about plural, the agreements, right? So since this is plural, I have to use where, right? Porque estoy usando un plural. But in the case of your celebration, for example, if you say here, my husband last year, for example, because we are talking about past, last year, my husband's birthday was on Let's say Monday, April, I don't know, which is the date? ¿Cuál es la fecha, Lorena? September 14th. The 14th. Mm -hmm. So my question is, 
when I say the date of birth, for example, uh, my son birth on uh, March the 26th is in, okay? That's Why my on? question. Yeah. I, I need to use on or in, was, or I will or, I will explain, or, okay. Was because it's a past event, right? But regarding to the preposition, when you use only the months, equals to in but when you use months plus months plus day equals in okay excuse me on okay because a uh, month plus day is more specific right El mes, en otras palabras, el mes y el, el día es algo más específico, right? So you have to use on. Okay? So on. If, I don't want, if, if I don't want to give you more information about uh, dates, I can say well, um, is in February, is in yes. January, is yes. in... Because you don't want to be specific. But if you want okay. to be for example, if you're um, writing a, a legal document where you have to, to give the full date, you need to on, you, you need to use on. My birthday is on September the 14th, on, because you're using the month and the date, right? But if you just mention okay. the month because you don't want to be specific, because you don't want to give more information to people, you, so, you say in. For example, my okay. birthday is in April, but you don't know what day of April. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Do you have extra questions, my dear, so far? No? Yes? Let me know. Okay. Um, if, if you don't have extra questions, I just want to say thank you for being here, right? Um, the class dynamic is going to be like this every day, right? I'll give you the introduction to the topic. I will connect it with the platform. But later you will go like in one or two or sometimes if time allow us three activities by group and then we will come back and share with the plenary. So I would like to ask you to please participate because in that way you own the language, you practice the language and no matter if you make mistakes because we are learning, okay? Excellent, thank you very much for coming and I hope to see you here tomorrow, okay? Be safe. I hope so. I hope okay. so. Okay. Thank bye you. Good bye. night. Good 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 night.